Hello Earthlings and welcome to my first unboxing video, except it's not really a box. As you'll see, it's an envelope. Basically, last month Matt Jaffe released his new album, The Spirit Catches You. Uh, this is his first album that wasn't uh, initially recorded under the name The Distractions, although it does include the final lineup of the band to go by that name. I kind of started opening it uh, a little bit today. But I haven't actually, I haven't actually looked to see what's inside. This is one of the rewards you could get for uh, co-funding the album on Indiegogo if you gave at least twenty bucks. I think that was the range. All right, let's see what's inside. There's the cover. I can already tell it's really different from his past stuff. And we've also got two things I forgot were included in this package. We've got a Hellhound of Alcatraz sticker and a, uh, and a short thank you note. Thanks for your support. Much appreciated. Hope to see you soon, MJ. Turns out I actually forgot that I, um, I actually went for the signed CD, not just the regular CD. I know I have a signed uh, Distractions concert poster, so I forgot for a moment that I went for the signed CD rather than the regular one. But yeah, there's his signature. Those are the credits. Those are the two final Distractions there, Paul Paldino and Cole Bailey. Cole's the drummer for Milk for the Angry, by the way. Another incredibly good local band. There's the back cover with six different versions of the front cover. <clears throat> That's the actual CD itself. Let's give it a listen. All right, so um, because I've seen Matt live so many times, uh, it's interesting to hear how some of these numbers differ a little in the studio. Uh, it starts off with something in your eyes, which is a nice kind of sweet, as close as he gets to sweet, number about what love can make you do. Fever is kind of is kind of an old school R&B type thing, a little. Both are definitely highlights of the album. Easy Way Out is kind of a faster number with some nice uh, harmonies. I think it's the first time I realized how Tom Petty this album sounds. Rumors of Your Ghost, um, one of his many songs that mentions California. Uh, Wicked World and Reset Button both have some extra violin that he added on top, giving it kind of a theatrical flair. Wicked World is actually about Carrie Fisher's comment that Donald Trump was on cocaine during the presidential debates two years ago. And Reset Button is a really nice slow but heavy number. Raise the Dead is an acoustic thing that he's dedicated to a lot of groups of people more than uh, more than he should. And uh, Paul Paldino co-wrote uh, Fever. Meet Me at Midnight is the other uh, co-write on this album, written with the uh, producer James DiPrato. Um, it's uh, I didn't realize he co-wrote that one, but uh, either way, it's a Another highlight of the album, along with uh, Devil Inside of Me, another slow, funky number. Dancing with Death and January Sky are two more, like, mid-tempo numbers. Um, they're both good. Uh, in fact, January Sky comes really close to mentioning the album title, The Spirit Catches You. I think Dancing with Death is another of the more Tom Petty moments on this album. The Closer is uh, an instrumental piano number with some guitar feedback in the background, I Want to Be Cruel number two. Um, and I've put a link in the description, also an end card to my, I guess, remix of Matt's original piano version. Yeah, but all in all, it's a great album. Uh, because I've seen him live so much, uh, I almost don't quite realize the evolution on this album from the last one, California's Burning. Like, not only is the production a bit cleaner on this album, it, it's also got more reverb and, of course, the strings. 
but yeah, I, I think this might become my favorite album of Matt's. I think I've mentioned before, but he's he's one of my uh, bigger songwriting inspirations. And uh, that's basically it for now. Um, until next time, this is Neutron signing off. Go forth and be awesome. <laughs>